Hi, today I'm going to speak to you on a very important topic on astrology. Do planets control us? Or uh, are the planets really the cause of what's happening in our lives? Because this is what the astrologers, the astrology books and so many people are telling us these days. We have uh, many videos on YouTube which uh, speaks on the effects of the planets in our lives. Often the astrologers keep using the terms this particular planet called uh, you know Saturn is affecting you or causing this on you. So uh, the teenagers, uh, especially those who are in college or what we call as the younger generation often are actually skeptical about astrology because uh, they feel that uh, this must all be very wrong and unscientific. How can the planets affect us? So you see a lot of scientists speaking against astrology because they know that the planets are not controlling us in the way that astrology makes us believe. Well, uh, they are right. The truth is that the planets are not influencing us at all. So, if this has to be accepted, then you will have wondered then what, why do we use uh, the planets in our horoscope or what are the planets in our horoscope doing? So, by giving you certain examples, I will let you know how the planets are actually not controlling us at all. For example, if I were to ask you what is the time right now, what would you do? You will definitely look at the watch or turn around and uh, look at a clock and then you will definitely tell me the time. And let's say after you tell me the time, can I ask you what did you look at? You will definitely say the needles or some information on the clock. Let's say you accept it as the positions of the needles from which you came to know about time. So, can I ask you, are the needles the cause of time? If I ask you this question, you will definitely tell me, no, not at all. You will say, everyone knows that the needles of the clock is just indicating time. So the other day when uh, a small child was sitting in the car and uh, you know this person, this child was looking at the speedometer and uh, when I asked the child what is the cause of the speed of the car, the child immediately told me it is caused by the speedometer in front of you. I asked the child how did you know, he said yes. When the needle was at 40, your car was going at 40. And when the needle was at 60, it was going at a higher speed. So, as it moved upwards, I am able to see that it is moving faster and faster. So, that really means that the speed of the car is actually controlled by the speedometer. So, like this child, most of us have made this mistake of assuming that the planets are the cause. In many consultations that I have had with clients, whenever I use the expression that this is caused by this planet, I know that I am making a mistake because it is not caused by that planet, it is only indicated, but it, astrologers have always used this phrase because uh, that is how it has been so far. We must all join and you know change that phrase by saying I mean, saying Saturn is indicating this, so we should be very clear on that, it is not cost. So the client usually asks, why, why is this planet doing this to me, what have I done? And uh, I have had situations where people have asked me, 
can you change the position of this planet by doing some remedies, some pujas? The, you know, people offered me huge sums of money and uh, you know, asked me, is it possible that uh, you could change the positions of this particular planet because you just now told me that this is the cause, this planet is the cause of what is happening to me. So the positions of the planets are just indicating your karma and your karma is actually only the output or the result of what has been done by you in the past life. It may include the pa it may include even the the past in the current life, but most probably it includes only the events of the past life, because the horoscope was cast at the time of your birth. So, here is the main point. The main point here is that the planets are just indicating karma, indicating what can happen in our lives and it is not the cause of events in our life and the poor planets have nothing to do with us. There, a particular planet is not angry with you nor is it very friendly with you but these terms are being used only for us uh, to understand how to read karma from a horoscope. It is like uh, the scientists say or uh, you know what we learnt in school the sun rises in the east but we all know the sun does not rise and does not set it is standing there all the time the same place and we are the ones who is actually doing the journey up and down which makes it look like the sun is rising and setting even though we know that the sun does not rise or set we are used to this phrase the sun is uh, rising and setting. So too astrologers are so often using this term that the planets are influencing us and uh, this is just a phrase but do not get confused. Remember and never forget what I have told you that the planets in your horoscope are not controlling you at all. Thank you.